What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Beardbox, and welcome back to Rowan's Detective 2. Did you see how I stuttered there? <laughs> I almost <laughs> forgot that we're called Beardbox. <sighs> I forgot about all about Phoenix Wright, and now I'm forgetting the name of the channel. So last time, we found Lupin outside in the trash can where he belongs, mm -hmm. and now we're talking to Canary about some happenings that she wants to talk about. We're about to find out right now. Okay, go! That's right! So, like, the reason we had to stop the tour and stuff was because of what happened at my last concert. Ah. My fans got too excited and ended up kind of storming the stage. Delphine had to save me from them. This is your tour. This tour was turning out to be too much for you. I know it's always difficult to cancel on your fans, but it really was for the best. Yeah, you would have protected me either way, though. Ah. Strong like the mountain. Ah. My fans are never like this, so, like, couldn't it be that something else is going on here? Like what? Well, they, like, all have this creepy look in their eyes. I don't know how to describe it. Mm hmm. Um, this might sound weird, but were they, like, rosy looking? Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Mwah. Detective, do you think? We have a few questions for you, if you don't mind, Miss Canary. Oh, okie dokie, ask me anything. Alright, <laughs> let's uh. present everything. Oh, this one's sad, though. Oh, really? How would you like to talk to my super cool and official police radio? Oh, I'll give it here! Romance cop, I'm afraid we're getting a little off track. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Uh, don't hold that button while you talk. What if the chief actually answers? What else did you expect me to do? Ah. Oh, right, that's it's me too, kid. isn't it? Sorry. Canary? What's going on over there? Sorry, chief. We didn't mean to call you. I'm, I mean, we might talk to you again soon if we have any new information, but sorry. I get it. You guys don't want me in on your little chat. Huh. Yeah, makes sense. I'll just go back to sitting at this desk. Alone. Chief! <laughs> Aww. Allow me to apologize on Miss Canary's behalf. She was handed the radio by your subordinate, not realizing it was on. We never intended to make you feel excluded. See what happens when you're irresponsible with police equipment, romance cop? Your lucky respectable adult was there to apologize. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Chief! I'm really sorry! It won't happen again! I'm certain she isn't truly mad at you, romance cop. Yeah, but I still feel bad. Sorry, Chrissy. Anyway, wasn't there stuff you wanted to ask me about? No, we're just going to keep presenting stuff to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the last time I try to show off my police gear to my dear cousin. Her impulses always lead to trouble. <laughs> hey, Canary, you want to look at this gun? Oh, no! <laughs> you want to look at this beaten stick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think of this? It's from the art museum we went to on our date yesterday. Oh, a pretty paintings! Is the installation still up? I kind of want to go see for myself. Romance cop. The case. Oh, sorry, detective. It's just, when I remembered I had this in my pocket, I suddenly wanted to bring it up. It's fine, Chrissy. I understand. If I went on cute dates, I'd want to talk about them all the time, too. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Still feel like her. I'll have to talk to her about it some other time. We're on the job, after all. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> This is totally unrelated, but I have to ask, what do you think of this poem? Oh, it's so cute and sweet! Who wrote this? It came from the culprit of a case we were working yesterday. Romance Cop is unconvinced of its excellence. What? You don't like it, Chrissy? I just don't think it's a very good poem. It doesn't even follow the rules of poetry. There's no rules in art, Chrissy. That's what makes it beautiful. Do you see now? You've gotten too caught up in the details, blinding you to the true beauty. You must remember to relax and open your heart. And it'll be alright! Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, whatever. Just forget the whole thing. We're not here to talk about some kids' dumb poems anyways. You were the one to bring it up, if I'm not mistaken. Shush you! <laughs> Do you want to fight about it? <laughs> I can't believe this. Am I the only one in the world who doesn't like this poem? Yes. Alright, now on to the real questions. Where <laughs> did you perform? Where did this concert take place? Oh, it was this big outdoor stadium. I was really excited to sing. But, like, I didn't even get to the chorus before everyone started rushing the stage. I don't suppose there were any roses there? If there were, I guess I know some. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. Your information aligns with the other cases we've seen so far. Now, if we could just figure out what they all have in common, we might have a clue towards putting an end to all of this. Hmm, I have an idea. Do you think it could have been my singing? Your voice is very enchanting, but no. I'm sure that it wasn't it. Darn. I thought I'd awaken new idol powers. That's kind of disappointing. Alright, next. When was the concert? When was the concert? What time was it scheduled to start? Oh, it was just the other day. I went on at 
7.30, but everything fell apart pretty fast. Ooh. So, it was dark by that point, wasn't it? Not with all the stage lights, it wasn't, but... Ah, oh, yeah, it wasn't that time. The moon was so pretty. I see. Thank you, Miss Canary. I finally realized the connections between all the cases we've seen thus far. Romance Cop, I'm sure you've caught on by now as well. Oh, everything keeps happening at night! Also, I realize I missed the dialogue. I forgot that that one advances the plot. Oh. So my bad. Precisely. I believe it's in our best interest to keep everyone in the homes at the sunset to help prevent any potential crimes of passion. I'll call the chief and ask her to issue a citywide curfew. You sound like a real pro, Chrissy. I feel safer already. Chief, come in. There's been a huge development. You're calling on purpose this time? Alright, let's hear it. Remember the case with the roses? We can't really explain why right now, but people have been acting like they did back then, but only when they're out at night. Sorry, turn down the volume. <laughs> that so? Sounds pretty concerning. <laughs> no one pay attention to the volume button. <laughs> We'd like to suggest a curfew in order to keep the citizens of Lovedom safe. Sure, no problem. I'll get right on it. Um, Chief, you sound a little distracted. What? No, sorry, I hear you. There's a visitor here right now, that's all. A visitor? Yeah, it's, uh... Sorry, ma'am, what did you say your name was again? <laughs> oh, we didn't mean to interrupt, Chief. Just wanted to let you know that nighttime should be considered dangerous until we can figure this out. Roger that. See you two back at the station. Yep, over and out. Well, that's done. What's next for us, Detective? We continue the investigation, of course. Oh, are you leaving already? Sorry, Canary. I wish we could stay a little longer, but the case... Oh, yeah. It was a pleasure meeting. <laughs> <laughs> mm, come back anytime. We can have another cute double date, and I'll let you hear some of the new songs I've been working on. I can yawn in your face again. That sounds great. I'm really looking forward to it. Especially that yawning part. Mm. I'll show you out. I apologize, I must throw you out. This is my only way. <sighs> I said get lost! I don't have any, I don't have time to explain anything to some, anyone who walks around in public wearing giant fake looking wings! Look, there's a reason you haven't had any luck in your love life, and antagonizing me isn't going to help. What's that supposed to mean? <gasps> Cupid? Oh, of course! You could have known each- no, of course you guys would know each other. Heh, <laughs> jerks of a feather. <sighs> what brings you here? Hey, don't ignore me! That was funny! Laugh at my joke! I was look <laughs> I was looking for you two, but first, what's the story with this guy? Lupin? He's under arrest for trespassing. Don't worry about him. This rogue cop left me out here to die while she went inside and talked to the love of my life! It was completely hum inhumane. Quit fussing, we weren't gone that long. In a way, I feel like this is sort of my fault. You couldn't have known those seeds of loves you planted would grow into this twisted weed we see before us. Hmm. What? Uh, Lupin, right? Forget about Canary. Your little fan crush has gotten way out of hand. I'll find you someone more your league. How's that sound? Who the hell do you think you are? Lupin, this is Cupid. Like, the Cupid. God of desire and stuff. Angel baby Cupid, where's your bow and arrow? I'm starting to understand why you let him out here in the trash can. Hey, if you're Cupid, you better prove it by working your magic on Canary for me. That's a no can't do, for a couple of different reasons. Anywho, I don't really care whether you believe me or not, it's not what I came here for. Was this something you wanted to discuss? Yeah, I'm sure you two know by now. The Rose problem is back. <laughs> Shitty used a flamethrower after all. Ah! Alright, Lubin, I'm gonna take you to the station now so the adults can talk. Wait, 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 don't take me in! I have, haven't I been punished enough already? Don't forget I helped you guys out that one time! In any case, the police station would make a better environment for this discussion. Will you take us, Romance Cop? Most certainly. I'll follow along behind you. I, uh, don't really like cars. Um, Cupid, if you don't want to sit next to Lupin, you can just say so. No one would blame you. Why are you so mean? We can just strap the trash can to the roof of the trunk, it's fine. <laughs> you slept in a garbage can. It shouldn't come as a surprise that no one wants to be near you. Sick of- I'm sick of all your rude remarks. Hurry up and throw me in jail if that's what you want to do. Settled. Off we go. Bastard. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go to all of these places with Lupin in tow. Aww. First, Love Bloom Park. This is the exact opposite of the police station. Why are we here? To enjoy what a nice day it is. This is the last taste of freedom you'll get, Lupin. You're putting me away for life? Romance Cop, I understand how you feel, but... 
That's not the only reason I brought us here. Um, Cupid, could you go put Lupin back in the car? We won't be long. Sure, it's not like there's any kind of imminent world in crisis we're supposed to be discussing right now. What were your true intentions in coming here, if not to torture Lupin? I'm sure you could guess by now, Detective. You wanted to bring me here to renew my appreciation for the outdoors before we go rushing into more work. Don't you feel like things are about to pick up? What if this is our last chance to relax like this for a while? You have a point. If Hubert's called, us, called on us, it must be something important. See? So we have to take a little while time to ourselves while we can. Isn't the smell of the grass so calming? You didn't convince me any further. But we can't stay too long. We do have someone waiting for us. Uh, yeah, okay. Also, the garbage man, man. Uh... Gar garbage can, man. Alright, but that's enough for this episode. Next time, we'll keep doing those two little side quests, which is Romance Detective's Home and Snapdragon Middle School, and then we'll continue the story at Love Bloom Police Station. So Woo! we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! We're both at the sports bar to watch the game, right? And I happen to be sitting next to him. Ah, yes, sports bar. <laughs> ah, yes, sports and balls and <laughs> throwing. Yes, very, very familiar with that. I love it when those soccer players hit a run and get the goal. Get it's... the points. Pay <laughs> <Hey>, attention. <laughs> Mr. Big Finn, you should have bought a ticket in advance like everyone else. They were already sold out by the time I- Look, it doesn't matter. Give me a ticket and I'll tell you everything I know. Leave it to us. What? Detective, you can't be serious. This is a case of love, Romance Cop. It's our duty to solve it.